Renee with an A, and welcome back to Betty McFatville Friday. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better. Oh, and welcome back to my channel to this Fatty McFatville Friday. I feel like last Friday was so long ago in the past. I feel like it's been forever, but yet I did vlog all weekend on a vacation. Oh, and yes, I had an amazing vacation, an amazing time. It never lasts long enough, never. It doesn't matter if you stay somewhere for a week or two weeks, it goes by so quick. It is really true. Time flies when you're having fun. And it's fun when you're having flies. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Excuse the appearance. I need to dye this wool. This hair. It's getting so long. And I just like don't even want to cut it. I used to cut it pretty short before y'all knew me here on this this channel. But I'm really loving my long hair. I know that's random and has nothing to do with losing weight, but <laughs> I don't want to cut it, but it's getting super long, super long, and growing so fast with all the vitamins and things, and eating well. So, well, it's the same thing with my nails. I mean, when you start eating better, your hair, your skin gets better, and your nails just grows like, like weeds. Okay, let's recap my weekend, and I will tell you honestly how I did and this week so far. Okay, so did go to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge. If uh, you're new here or if you didn't watch those, go back and watch those videos. I did vlog each and every day that I was there. Just to give you a little glimpse of things that we did and took y'all along. And um, I actually have to say I did okay on my diet. I did not do perfect. Mm -mm. I am here to tell you the truth. That's what this is about. And I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you where I messed up. Okay, Friday on the way there, I did good. We had a great dinner at Outback Steakhouse. I had my steak and green beans. And what was my other side? A salad. Okay, so I did good there. That filled. I even had some of my steak left because it's just so much. You know, they give you so much food. So I did good there. Did not cheat, did not indulge Saturday. I did fairly well. We got up and had breakfast at the old mill. I did have half of a biscuit. I was a little disappointed in the old mill. And not because of my diet or anything like that. I was like not looking forward to going there because I usually, if you've never been to Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, almost all their meals at restaurants are served family style. And that is like a southern thing. If you're not from the south over here in the United States, <laughs> we serve things like there. They do it at other places too, not just Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. But they serve it family style, which means you, some restaurants, you can choose the side you want and meat you want. And they will bring out big plates of that for the whole table. So you like, you... Blah, blah, blah. you share it with your friends or family or whoever you're eating with the sides as well and they're endless isn't that amazing you can have as many of those as you wish so at the old meal you don't get to pick and choose what they bring endless but the biscuits are endless the gravy the grits little muffins i think it's kind of like amish bread but i think they call it banana nut bread but it tastes like um the amish friendship bread to me and uh, I think that's all that's endless. Then you pick your meal, like eggs, 
bacon, sausage, or ham, and you get pan, pan shakes. There we go again. There it goes. There it starts to happen. Pan shakes. You get some pan shakes. Some pancakes, some flapjacks. <laughs> and I gave those to Rosie because they give you so much food. And I had scrambled eggs. I got like the meat platter. So I shared my meat with her and she had my flapjacks, my pancakes. And <laughs> no one ate my home fries because John had his own. It's just so much food. So I did not eat those. But my eggs were good, of course. How can you mess up eggs? Um, I did not drink the orange juice. They give you that too. It comes with it. I did not have any of the friendship bread and little muffins, which was hard to do because I love those. They're so good. I did not have that. Um, but my ham did not taste right to me. So I had a few bites and didn't eat it. I had a piece of the sausage, but it tasted like it had been sitting out for a while. And then the bacon was like beef jerky. It was really hard. So I was kind of disappointed. Like, uh. so in that disappointment, I had half of a biscuit. Not too bad, but bad enough. I can't have biscuits, okay? So I had a half a biscuit. Ugh. Yeah, and it was amazing. <laughs> I had it with the butter and their homemade um, preserves, which is not good either because I'm sure in their homemade preserves is sugar. So there was my first mess up. Now, then that day, we did not have a lunch. So I didn't mess up there because we'd had so much for breakfast. And then where did we go to eat? Oh, yeah, we went to the Japanese place, and I didn't mess up there. I had chicken, hibachi chicken with vegetables, a bunch of vegetables. Vegetables, vegetables, really? Pancakes and vegetables, vegetables. <laughs> with broccoli, zucchini, onions. Is it peppers? No, not peppers. Onions and uh, mushrooms. And um, the chicken. What else is with that? Is that it? I mean, it was a big thing. I showed y'all. I filmed that. And that was delicious. So it didn't mess up there. Okay? So Saturday, the big mess up was a half of a biscuit. Not too bad for a vacation, I have to say. Now, Sunday, it became harder. We went to Dollywood on Sunday. And I did indulge in some kettle corn. Lots of it. I had lots of kettle corn. I love kettle corn. So I ate the kettle corn, which is starch, it's corn, you know, I can't have that. Then, um, what all you we had breakfast at the hotel uh, that morning. So I didn't mess up there, had the kettle corn, and then at lunch, because there's not, I didn't want to spend a whole lot. I mean, you're already spending a good amount on the tickets to get into Dollywood. Um, so I got two meals to share between me and John and Rosie. So it was two foot long hot dogs with these tater skin things and I did share the hot dog with Rosie and I took half of the bread off so I didn't eat the whole amount of bread but I did have some of the bread and a few of the they look like curly fries. I had a few of those. So there was a little bit of a mess up there. Now here's for the big shebang mess up which is not that big of a mess up I guess but we went to Paula Deen's. I'm blaming it all on Paula Deen. <laughs> Her buttery, ooey goodness. Got me, y'all. Paula Deen got me, y'all. I mean, can't go to Paula Deen's and not have her. Totally, that's what I film on. Totally had a seizure. And I had to fix it, yeah. So, yeah, where was I? Paula Deen, y'all. Yes. Her restaurant... <laughs> It got me. I mean, at first, they bring out these big, cheesy, like, biscuits. They're kind of similar to Red Lobster's garlic cheesy biscuits, but they're, like, that stacked. And on the bottom of those, if that's not enough bread already, their flapjack kind of reminded me, like, the crust of original Pizza Hut pizza, but they're, like, in a silver dollar way, like a pancake or something. Those with biscuits on top of that and some kind of mango-ish buttery salsa-y something spread. <laughs> yeah, I'm so good at explaining this, but it tasted amazing. Of course, I had some of that right off the bat. I had the fried chicken, um, roast, 
which I did not like. I tried that. It wasn't my favorite. And um, pork chop, which was just generic. It was okay to me. The fried chicken is to die for. It's really, really good. And um, all this is like family style as well. They bring them out. You choose which meat you want and what sides. And it's brought out family style and as much as you want. It's all you can eat. And then we got mac and cheese. The green beans. Out of all of those, usually mac and cheese would be my favorite go-to carb ever. Um, and it was good. Rosie really liked that. She ate more of that than most of us. But I had some. Had some of that. But the green beans, I have to say, were my favorite favorite they had like this bacony yummy taste to them they were so good coleslaw was really good and squash casserole i did have some of that it had zucchini in it and she had like ritz cracker stuff on top it's like paula was back there herself in the kitchen making all this and sending it out to us yeah thanks a lot paula so i did indulge in paula deans and had that and i had uh, what was our other side? That was not four, was it? Yeah, it was. Okay. And then you get to choose. Everyone gets a dessert. She has banana pudding, cobbler, which was peach cobbler this weekend, and her ooey gooey butter cake, chocolate or vanilla. We got vanilla. The ooey gooey cake was the best. I tasted every last bit of those. Sure did. After that, you might as well just go ahead for the full Monty, and I did. So... There's where my mess ups. Monday, on my way back, I had my meal bar, and we were back before, because it's not that far away for us, we were back um, for dinner time, and I don't even remember what we ate. Something here. I don't even remember, but it wasn't, wasn't out of my diet. So, not too bad. I didn't have any sodas or nothing like that. I still stuck with my water or a Coke Zero. That's usually what I drink. And um, so that's not not too, too bad. It's not what I want it to be. I had these high hopes of going and sticking to it solid perfectly. But yeah, I indulged some. But I didn't overindulge. And we also walked a whole lot. I mean the whole time. So really what I did eat, I'm sure I walked off a whole lot. I mean, from the moment we got there. We walked the Pigeon Forge area, we walked Ga downtown Gatlinburg, and we walked in Dollywood all day long, and then we went over to the island that night where Paula Deans was and walked over there as well. So I did get my exercise. It wasn't like we, we don't lounge around on vacation unless we're staying somewhere a long, long time, and then we may take a rest day. We just try to cram in as much as we can. That's how we are. And then I pay for it when I come back because I'm so tired. It's like you need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> yeah, because so when we got back from since Monday, um, I mean, we all went to bed pretty early Monday because I had to go to work, school the next day for her. And um, every day since, I've been going to bed early, haven't done much cleaning here at the house. I finally did manage to get some laundry done, some things put away from the trip, but it's like... I'm still, I mean, you can see, I'm like still very tired because we, we did as much as we could. Lots of walking and yeah, recuperating this week. So since I have been back, been back at it on my regular routine, on my regular everything I normally do. So I have not swayed from that. And I knew that even when I did eat what I did, like at Paula Deen's or, you know, this past weekend, I did know I'm not like giving up my diet, okay? So that is what is totally different from before. So that's really a major step for me. And also I have to say, I have to address it, last Friday when I weighed in, to see the 310 still there, and I've only lost two ounces last week. It was depressing. Um, I know I shouldn't totally dwell on what the scale is saying. It is about how I feel and changing up my lifestyle and my habits. It's just because I've seen it coming off and I know body weight will fluctuate and you can come to a point where, you know, one week you will not lose as much as another week. And then the next week it might just come a lot off or whatever. You may be stagnant for a little while. I do know that, but I know in the past that has what 
has made me like stop because I'll work. I worked hard last week, like not exercising wise. That's been one of my things that I need to do and I know it, but um, I did my diet well. I ate what I was supposed to and then when you get on that scale and you see two ounces, at least it's something. At least it is something, and that's what I have to tell myself. And if you're on a diet as well, it's hard, isn't it? It really is. It is very, very hard. So I'm hoping, hoping, even with vacation, when I weigh in, that I at least lose two pounds or something, or a pound or something. I want to see that 310 gone. I want it to be below that. I would want it to be below. I'm getting so close to be under 300 pounds. So we will push forward from that. I did find at the grocery store, I went to the grocery store uh, yesterday, and um, I was just looking around because there are so many other options, a whole lot of gluten-free stuff, which I do do some gluten-free things, but I try to remain as low-carb as possible on this diet, unless I'm at Paula Deans. <laughs> Paula, she got me, she got me. Uh, but I did find this. This is Joseph's Flax and Oat Bran and, and uh, Flax and Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita Bread. Okay, it says may help protect your heart while losing weight, and it is a uh, no trans fat, reduced carb, uh, reduced fat, high protein, and it was two ninety nine, which is a little higher for these things, but diet stuff is. So it says here, are you counting carbs? Remember to subtract the fiber, which I know. When you are counting carbs, you subtract the dietary fiber and the sugar alcohol and the, um, there's another one too. Can't remember right now. Anyway, um, so the total is nine carbs for one pita, but you subtract the dietary fiber, which is four. So that gives you five net carbs for one pita. That's really good for bread type stuff, okay? So I'm gonna give this a try. I'm not gonna eat them all the time, but there are times where, like when we're having tacos, there are ways to make, you know, cheese tacos, but I don't want so much cheese. I really don't. So I can have this sometimes when we're having like stuff like that. And I found this too, I wanted to try them both. This one is seven net carbs. This is by Joseph's also. This one was $2.99 also. Um, and these are just regular old like tortillas. Tortillas, tortillas. Um, so the regular is 12 carbs and you subtract the five and that gives you the seven. So that's really cool. This is the first type I have seen in our grocery stores um, that tells you about counting carbs because it's really like all the stuff nowadays is um, gluten-free type stuff is what you mainly see. So I'm going to give these a try and I will let you know how those go. And sometimes I do want just for dinner or lunch if I am home, that would be good with just some peanut butter on it. Boom. Or make me a little sandwich with that. I do miss kind of having a sandwich type feel. So that would be good to put some of that in or some vegetables and have me a little wrap. So that's another little option. Trying to change it up with some of the things I have been eating. I've been doing pretty good with that, except at Paula Dean's. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm hoping for good numbers. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. <sighs> so I'm going to get right to it. That's all I really have to say for um, this week. And I still... I still need to incorporate. I'm so tired when I got back. Still am. Still wanting to go to sleep right now. Um, so I've got to do my workout video or something exercising. Still, still haven't incorporated that. It's hard. So hard. It's, it's day by day, pound by pound. We'll get it off. We'll get it done. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up ever. And I don't want you to either. We can do this together. We can do this even if it is two ounces that I lost last week. But I feel like that I probably lost some this week. I do. It was just really hard to see that. And then I was going on vacation. I was like, oh, only two ounces. 
oh no, what if I do mess up a vacation and I didn't lose enough last week? And yeah, all that runs through your mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I hope everybody's doing well also. And here is, here's the weighing time. Weighing time, weighing time. It's time to get myself on the scale and see how much. So I'm not as much as a whale. <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. Time to weigh in. Let's see how I did, despite of Paula Deen's buttery, ooey gooey goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yay! <laughs> 